Hey guys, my name is Gabia. I ordered $9 blonde bob wigs off of Timu. They're here, so let's check them out. All right, the first wig that I ordered is kind of like this curtain bang uh, blonde bob wig. It's not really much of a bob. It does have a shadow root, which I really love. I cannot personally commit to a shadow root, so we'll see how this turns out. The reviews look great. So that's gonna be the first one that we try. All right, this is the next one that I was checked out. Um, really great reviews again. And the model was really gorgeous with the wig and the reviews were awesome. I saw the photos of the people wearing it, it looked really nice. And the color was interesting. It's kind of got like an ombre effect. So we're gonna give it a try. I checked out this wavy style one with a straight across bang as well, but it just kind of wasn't speaking to me. I found a another wig super similar to the last one, um, except it was a different color, slightly different color. And I decided to give this one a try too. It was $11 actually, rather than other like nine something that the other ones were. Then I also saw this wig, again, kind of similar, even more ombre, like platinum tips, shadow root, really interesting. And this one was $9 as well, so I thought I would give it a try. Anyways, when I went to check out, I saw the two of them were just a little too similar. And one was $11, the other one was $9.08. And I just decided to keep it fair, um, comparing the three wigs. I'm gonna keep them all at like around nine bucks and see what happens. So these were the final three wigs that we're gonna do. And yeah, let's see how these turned out. Okay, so here they are out of the package and they all look the same. If I didn't know any better, I would think that these are all the same wig. Uh, I guess I did pick out like three ombre style wigs or like three wigs with shadow roots and stuff like that. But these literally look like the same thing. I'm gonna open it up and see what they look like. And I just realized that none of them came with a wig cap. If I order wigs off of Amazon and stuff like that, they always come with a wig cap. These do not. So I'm gonna try and find a wig cap really quickly before I put these on. All right, I found a wig cap. It's on. One nice thing about having short hair is that it goes in the wig cap super easily. Let's go see what it looks like. Okay, so this is a 20 inch blonde. I can see, I think this might be the one with the curtain bangs. Right off the bat, um, it feels really good. It's not too shiny. I feel like one of the dead giveaways for a wig is if it's like super shiny, a really good way to fix that would be some powder, but it doesn't look too shiny. The only thing is that it's got like these really weird, like super white strands. It's just not blended very well, but the shadow root looks nice. The part doesn't look too bad either. That's like another dead giveaway for a wig. And obviously because it has bangs, I'm hoping that it'll look pretty good that it's gonna cover up this pretty well without looking yeah, like you know too much like a wig <laughs> oh my god i don't even know if i'm putting it on right so it's got this like weird bump right where the part is i'm trying to like flatten it but i mean the color is actually really nice like i said it's got like a couple of those weird like white strips oh you can see it like under here like you see this you can kind of see that I mean, it looks like a wig, I'll give it that, but it definitely, it looks like a nice wig. For $9, I mean, okay. <laughs> I think this definitely needs to be brushed. I can just imagine if I wore this out, the bangs would drive me nuts because they're like, they're too long. The bangs are too long. I don't like the bangs as much as I thought I would. In the picture, they look super neat, but this, in real life, like this is what it's doing. Okay, let me see if I can just style this a little bit more neat and do like a final show. Okay, I fixed it up a little bit and this is what I'm getting. So this side looks so much better than this side. And I think it's the way it was packaged. All these three wigs were kind of just like smushed together in this packaging. So that might've been the reason. But I mean, it's gonna take some work to make this side look like this side. I do like the waves down here and I like the part here. But like this side just looks messy to me. But I will say I do like the way this looks on me. I think the color is kind of flattering. This is gonna bother me though. <laughs> like it's not bad on me for nine bucks. I would give this wig probably like like a seven and a half. Bangs are gonna drive me crazy throughout the day. I can definitely see that if I wore this out. And I wouldn't classify this as a blonde bob. I let me just put that out there. It's cool, but it's definitely not a blonde bob. All right, next one is the Gradient Platinum, and I can already tell this one's a shorter one. I'm super excited about this one. As you can see, it's got the white tips here. So actually in the photo, it didn't look that blended out. It looks much better in real life. Like this looks a little bit more blended out color-wise. Super excited about the bangs. The part's the same as the other one. It actually doesn't look that bad. Like you can tell they actually tried, you know, to make it look like a reasonable part. So let's see what this one looks like. Okay, right away, the wig cap for this one underneath is way bigger than the other one. That one fit me better. This one I can tell is a little big. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, hold on. Okay, the bangs, the bangs need a little work. I need to like touch this up a little bit. But the sides actually, like the length too, I'm loving this length. 
<laughs> okay, but I do need to do something about these bangs. Hold on. All right, so if I actually match the wig to where my wig cap is, like, you know, balance it out, this is what it's actually supposed to be like. As you can see, the bangs are way too long. If I pull this back, you can see my wig cap. Like, you can see where my hairline is. So it's technically supposed to be like this. This definitely needs to be trimmed. And I'm too scared to trim it because I'm gonna make a mess in my bathroom. I absolutely love the length of this one. The bob style, the straight across bob, thick hair, super cute. I'm just not loving the bangs. Um, If they were shorter, which again, I could probably fix it myself, they would be awesome because this looks so good good as it is and there's also a couple like flyaways you know some long pieces everything is just sticking to my face right now and i don't know this just one seems so messy but overall it's like a style and even the color it's like it's cute if i wore it as it is i look more like sia but you know this would be a great costume maybe actually for sia it just needs to be more blonde but i have all this like excess like wig cap here i can feel because i'm pulling it back so because of the bangs and i just think yeah you see that I just think it's a little too big for me or you know I just need to trim the bangs. I think this one I'm gonna give like a solid seven just because this one needs more work. I do like the style of this one more than the last one but this one definitely needs more work to you know make it look presentable. Okay I'm pulling out the last one and I'm realizing it did come with a wig cap. I'm just not paying enough attention but of course I would notice it at the very last wig but it's fine. I this is the 14 inch gray wig so it's also gonna be a shorter one which I'm excited about already. Okay, here's the wig. This is kind of inverse of the other one so it's lighter in the middle and then darker at the tip. It also does have a shadow root and this looks promising. The bangs look shorter so I'm super excited to try this one. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, the wig cap fits really nicely and it's already in place. Thing's still a little long, but not as bad as the other one. Okay, this is having the same problem as the first one did because the way it's packaged, you see this side is perfect, it looks good, and this side's kind of doing its own thing. I'm gonna see if I can fix this, but the bang looks nice. I think this is where it's sitting and overall I like the color too. So let me touch this up a little bit and see what it looks like. Okay, I touched it up a little bit. I tried kind of gently like, straightening it out and I noticed that one side is longer than the other one. I mean if you look right here you can see this side is like significantly also bulkier on this side and it's longer on. and this piece specifically is just driving me nuts right now. Same problem with the bangs actually they are a little bit shorter than the other one but you can clearly see my wig cap underneath where it's supposed to go down so these bangs also need a trim. I do love the color blocking of this one though. It's super pretty, but this is gonna drive me nuts. I can tell, like I, this is gonna totally drive me nuts of how much longer it is. And again, this side just feels bulkier to me. So yeah, this is, might be my favorite like color placement probably, but definitely the worst out of the three regarding like the actual style and cut of the wig. Okay, so I think this one is gonna get a six out of 10. Although I love the color placement of this one and I think it's super flattering. I hate the cut, like the cut's driving me. Like this is gonna drive me nuts. This like the, the swoop's gonna drive me nuts. Again, I tr already tried to put some heat on it some light heat just to not want to budge and this is gonna drive me nuts <laughs> so i think this was definitely unfortunately not the best one out of the three <laughs> okay even though i did say the first one i tried was probably the most well-made one this one is probably my favorite style i love it so i'm wearing it i'm gonna use these wigs for like some fun makeup reels and yeah i mean i can definitely use them maybe not the third one i might have to like get that one actually fixed but this one i mean you know it's not too bad because the bangs are a little thicker it does cover up most of the wig cap you can kind of see it in some parts but i do like the color and you know the style and i don't like all these flyaways though. these are you know pretty good for nine dollar wigs i mean you can't can't beat that thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below which wig was your personal favorite and be sure to subscribe